This is Comcast Newsmakers. It is so nice for you to join us today on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Mark Curtis. We are uh, here at the historic Dunsmuir House in Oakland. Boy, what a beautiful place this is. If you've never been here, you really got to come and visit, okay? Uh, we are talking about education today, and I'm joined by Mary Thoreau, who is with the Independent Scholarship Fund. Good morning. Good morning. Good to have you here, Mary. Tell us what the Independent Scholarship Fund is. When I first heard the name, I thought, oh, this is for college scholarships. It's not. It's K through 12. Right. Tell us how it works. It's tuition assistance of $1,500 a year for parents to be able to take to a private school if they want a choice for their children's education. Typically, why do people come to you? What, uh, uh, you know, is the child having difficulty in school or they want more one-on-one -on -one attention? Give us kind of a snapshot of that. Well, there's no real typical, but it's just if the school they're in now isn't for whatever reason suiting their needs and the parent thinks that another school might better suit their needs, they can come to us and we can help them uh, bridge the financial gap of being able to get that education. So you can have anything from a child who just needs more discipline, needs right. to be more challenged, uh, needs more individualized attention. Uh, it's a whole range. And of course you mentioned the finances and that's a difficult thing. I mean this yeah. is one of the most expensive areas to live in the right. country and a private education would be certainly included in that. How do folks apply? We have a website, independent.org slash ISF, and there are applications online. Um, parents submit an application by May the 1st with supporting documentation, um, and we let them know by June if we're going to be able to fund them. Okay. A lot of scholarships are based on needs. Some are based on merit. Uh, how does this work? <clears throat> is it mostly financial need is the criteria in here? Financial need is a large part of it, but recognizing, as you mentioned, that this is such an expensive area, we do go above sort of the basic federal reduced price right. lunch program. We do also look at the academics, make sure that a child is going to be able to benefit from um, the education. So it's a mix. We look at the family income and the child's uh, desire to be in a a private school or ability to benefit from a, and, such help. And this is a program in Alameda and Contra Costa counties? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. I was surprised when you told me how many children in this area are already in private schools. I didn't think it was as high as you told me, but share, yeah. the, share the numbers. Well, Bay Area families, 25% of families send their uh, children to private schools, but 34% okay. of public school teachers send their children to private schools. So it's very interesting. What are some of the advantages people cite when they talk about uh, private versus public schools? And we're not, you know, there's no slight in the public education system. It does a good job here, right. but it's not for everybody. Right. One size doesn't fit all, and right. we recognize that in almost every other aspect. And we're just trying to say education is certainly incredibly important, and not all child, uh, not all children are going to thrive in any given school, even right. a private school. So, um, for example, last year we were contacted by a public school high school teacher who had a student who was very bright, but he'd been in foster care, so bounced around, hadn't really had consistency of education. He was 17 and a sophomore, which is prime dropout material. Right. A very bright kid, wanted to be a writer, wanted to go to college. And so his public school teacher wrote to us and said, you know, can you please help him get in a private school where he can have that kind of in, uh, intensive independent study and personalized attention and so we did. Well it's a great success story and it's great to hear that and we encourage folks to apply because again the deadline is May 1st. Uh, Mary Thoreau with the Independent Scholarship Fund providing uh, financial assistance for some private K-12 schools in Alameda and Contra Costa counties and again we should mention your website right? Independent.org. Independent.org for all the information. Good luck to you Mary. Thank and, you uh, so much. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for being with us on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Mark Curtis. Have a great day.